So, hello everyone. I am walking in Florida and it's fucking humid, but that's not what gets me. It's like I'm looking around, like, look. Okay, just, just flow with me for a minute, okay? Now, what if I want to drink a beer, right? Okay, what would I be hurting? I'm just pondering. What would I be hurting if I wanted to drink a beer right now? I've got absolutely no privacy from the street. And I have, you know, fuck, dude, we're, we're moving into a police state. George Bush Sr. says, I want a cop on every corner, right? Well, you know what? Fuck you, dude. There's a reason why you weren't elected, you know, reelected. But yeah, here we are. Here we are putting a cop on every fucking corner. It's like there's a cop everywhere. And, and they're enforcing the stupidest fucking crimes because you have to justify, you know, the payroll to pay for all of these crimes. The humidity is killing me is what I'm trying to say. And so we've, we've, we hire this Congress and this Senate. And uh, what, what, what do we pay them to do? We pay them to enforce and create laws against us, restricting us. Okay, well, okay. So it doesn't look like much today. We look at, okay, what's going on in the world today? We have the illusion of some kind of terroristic threat. Okay, even though, even though 90, God, it's gotta be more than 90% by now. No, it's a fucking crock of shit. Know that all of this is, is bullshit. You know, there's so much room for trees. Look, look, there is so much room. And, but no, we have to have clear vision for this, for the exact reason that nobody can drink a beer walking down this sidewalk. It's the only reason, and I'm sure there are city ordinances, and like, I was even at 7-Eleven just now picking up cigarettes, because yeah, I still smoke, and I'm thinking to myself, all the big goat cups are now clear plastic. Why? So that you can't put a beer in it. And... <laughs> fucking land of the free man and <clears throat> so I'm thinking okay well Fibonacci this shit and who's the most powerful man on earth you know and we all say it's got to be the president of the United States or a submarine commander right all right pre the president or a submarine commander has got to be the most powerful two men in the world but they're wrong they're absolutely wrong we look at our privacy our privacy, our right to privacy. You know, I'm, I'm taking this from a beer, walking down the sidewalk, to our right to privacy. And I'm thinking, okay, well, Kim Jong Un, starting with Kim Jong Il and Kim Sung Il, or Kim Sung Un, or whatever the fuck them, they, uh, these have got to be the most powerful people in the world, right? They have the right. To go into your home and make sure that the only photos on your wall are photos of okay hold on I know this first one is Kim Sung Un Kim Sung Il God I can't remember the first one I just I can't but Kim Jong Il and now I'm sure that there's gonna be Kim Jong Un and Kim Sung Un fucking whatever whoever the fuck they are they have the right to go into your house and make sure that these these photos are the only ones on your wall, right? That, that, that you are following in compliance with their orders for how you should live. <clears throat> By God, I say they're more powerful than the president and the submarine commander. And the reason why I say this is if you can get into people's heads, right? If you can get into their heads... If you can get into their heads and convince them that you have some kind of power, that's what makes them surrender that power and gives it to you. As it is right now in the United States of America, the cops do not have the power to legally 
enter your home to make sure that the radio that is forced into your home that is spouting state propaganda is working correctly or that you haven't snipped the wires. We don't have that kind of power in the United States yet. Give us time. We're getting there. We have no brakes in this vehicle of ours of setting laws and restrictions upon us. So we will get there. <laughs> don't believe don't believe me. Watch what happens. See how this goes down. Um, but what is it? What is it exactly that gives us the right, the, the audacity as human beings on this planet to think under any circumstances that we have the right to control anybody else. Who the fuck, do you know what gives, what gives somebody the power to control anybody else? And that is the one who surrenders the power onto the other. And now it's one thing to surrender that onto somebody you love and trust, and it's another thing to do it by deceit. And if you do it by deceit, if you lie and you manipulate and you deceive, by God, you deserve at the very least to go to prison. Now, what kind of a fucking lowlife would have to deceive somebody just to fucking gain power over them and manipulate them in a way that is going to lead them away from what could lead them to their happiest experience in this world? You know, it's like, it's not like life isn't hard enough already. It's not like we need these scumbags to come out of nowhere and help us to have a worse life experience. You know, life is fucking hard. Life is fucking shitty. Why the fuck do I need these power hungry fucktards who don't give a shit about anybody but themselves to fucking take control of my life and tell me how I need to live? Um, I'm trying to say fuck that is yeah I think that's somewhere in what I'm trying to say it's pretty close it's it's pretty close I mean, you can doubt me but I mean look it up dude Google it it's pretty fucking close fuck that and um, so what I'm trying to say in all of this is um, basically fuck it man let's bring it right down to fractal level if uh, two people are happy together regardless of what it is that makes them happy Shut the fuck up. Mind your own fucking business. Are you really going to tell me that you have no problems in your life? Because I'll tell you what, show me one person that's got it all figured out, has got everything down, got no problems, got everything figured out, everything figured out and has no problems of their own. I'll show you the most fucked up person on this planet. And anybody that is motivated by vengeance or causing revenge on somebody is what I call, uh, oh, what's that word? Oh, putrid. So... You know, if, if the only thing that, that is motivating you is vengeance and taking revenge upon somebody else and you're willing to fuck, you're willing to fuck people over in your quest to get that vengeance, I think you are disgusting. I think you are putrid. I think you are the most disgusting fucking thing on this planet. Mortal enemies, oh, you have no clue. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um... And with that, with that, peace, everybody. Have a great day.